It's Mitchell from Australia, and this is Street Lights Under Mirror Debunked. That's right, I'm debunking my own video. Now this is my original observation of a level mirror looking down a long street about 0.636 miles long. The mirror is about a metre off the ground and the street lights are considerably above this level. Now this observation shows street lights reflecting up under this mirror. And the theory behind it was that perspective caused lights to appear lower as they get further away and are able to reflect up underneath this mirror. Now, taking nothing away from this theory, I still think it is plausible, even though I have not shown this in my videos yet, but I have captured other videos. What I'm about to show you is debunking this observation. Now, before before all you haters go out there and, and just say, oh, I told you so, it was the light going through the edge of the mirror, not one of you provided evidence to support your claim. Even though you were right, I went and checked this myself. As you can see, the mirror is level and I've put electrical tape on the front edge of the mirror to stop these reflections from the front edge. And I also painted it black. So there's no way that light can travel through that front edge of the mirror. Now this is the exact same location, looking down the same street. So the mirror is level, about a metre off the ground, looking 0.636 metres away. And as you'll see, I do no longer see any reflections up under this mirror. So I've just proved that my first observation is wrong. But what I want to point out is no one else actually took the effort to come and debunk me. So I'm operating with honesty and integrity here after I noticed this this morning. I had to make this video and show everyone that what I was claiming or what I observed was actually not what I thought. Now, what you have to remember with observation is this is where I was looking from, 33 metres above sea level. And as I'll show, it's about 0.636 miles to the last street light. And this last street light on the ground level is 44 metres above sea level. So what you have to take away from this is we're looking up 11 metres incline over this 0.636 miles. So these obviously are not the right conditions to convey this experiment. Now I still think this might be possible under the right conditions, possibly over about a mile, but the street has to be not perfect level, maybe a slight incline, maybe one or two meters with the street lights going off into the distance but make sure the mirror is level and cover the front edge of the mirror. Now even though I have not shown any videos to support this claim yet I still think it is possible but at the moment it is just a theory. Now I would like to apologize to those who mirrored my video. I was wrong. I didn't mean to mislead anyone but I found out that my observation was incorrect. So I debunk myself and I take full responsibility for those who use this as any sort of proof for anything. Now I encourage everyone to go out and do this for themselves. Go out and see if this is correct or not. Because I've just debunked myself here. You don't know if what I've just proven even is real or not. I'd like someone to go and find a street about a mile long, pretty flat and level with a bit of incline and to just back me up what I have just observed. Repeat this experiment for yourselves because that's what real science is. I've just demonstrated that I made an observation and I redid the test and I found it to be wrong. 
So to all those who took something away from this other than the true results, I apologize. Again, I didn't mean to mislead anyone, but this is what people who are doing real science need to do. When you find that you've made a mistake, you need to show it, repeat it, and show it to all those who have watched the first observation. Now, as always, thank you for watching.